Hey everyone, hopefully you're having a good day. My name's Andy, my channel's Finding Value. Uh, today we're going to look at some other sectors, home builder stocks, we'll do some uh, oil tanker stocks, I haven't really looked at those too much, we'll do some fertilizer companies, uh, we'll look at whatever else I have thrown in the mix here uh, to see what they're doing. So I'm gonna start with the home builders uh, and work my way through. So today, um, I'll give you my financial opinion. Please don't use it as advice. Uh, but what I'm starting off with are the home builders. I've got KB KBH uh, as the home builder here. We've got a nice, strong resistance line coming through here that it's trying to break through. We've got even more consolidation kind of coming up into a point. This is a rising wedge. Uh, but when looking at a lot of the other stocks, they look quite bullish. Uh, I do expect this to maybe spill out a little bit and then try to break to the upside. Uh, we are in an expansionary phase of real estate. The home builders should be making good good amount of money here so long that they get their inputs. Uh, they could struggle with some of their supply chain issues and input costs. Things like lumber, windows, appliances, uh, all of those things. But I'm still looking at them just to see if it's a potential. Now, would I buy be buying KB Homes up here? Probably not. I don't think that's the strongest looking chart, but if it breaks to the upside, you could see a big old run out of it. If it breaks, uh, MDC Holdings looks like it's putting in a massive pattern all the way back at the bottom of 1990, uh, 10 cents all the way up, and we're consolidating in this tip here. Uh, are we going to break to the upside or the downside? Uh, I would say to the upside because if the medical event, this is what the medical event did, and it came right back into. Uh, the pattern. Uh, I would expect this pattern to be breaking to the upside. This will be a monster move. And if you did a fib, uh, trend based fib extension from the bottom here, if this was like the first big move and this was the pullback on it uh, of a mo monster housing boom, and we were to look at a 1.618, lo you're looking at a $130 price on this breakout of this pattern. Uh, so that's that's what I'm seeing in this type of pattern here. Uh, MTH, Meritage Homes Corporation, uh, we had a bottom in 93 and it's just been in a gigantic uh, bull run. You can see that there's been a consolidation period um, in this period here where it basically pulled back, consolidated sideways, and now we're breaking that consolidation to the upside. Uh, I would expect this to have a monster bull run coming up and we're doing kind of a re a return uh, move here. I would be a buyer right now uh, in Meritage Homes Corporation if you guys are interested. TPH uh, looks like in TriPoint Homes, long-term perspective, we've got the, the, the resistance line. We broke out, we did a little bit of a sideways action and we've been moving higher. Yeah, recently we've had a pullback in it. Uh, here's the pullback, but this looks like it's trying to put in a bottom to move higher. Uh, that's what this big bullish engulfing pattern is. So I would look at this, you know, as a potential investment. C, uh, Cavco Industries, CVCO, it's been bopping sideways, backing out. It's been in one massive long, long-term uptrend uh, move for Cavco Industries. So this one looks really good. This is a Skyline Champion Corporation. Uh, Here's our resistance line coming through all the way back from 1975. We've broken that down that that resistance line from 1975. This could be a massive bull market. New homes being built uh, for Skyline Champion. We've got the return move here with a nice big bullish engulfing, another bullish piercing. I'd be a buyer down here, guys. If you want a a stock, this is one for you. Take a look at it. That's uh, S K Y Sky, that one looks great. L E G H, uh, this is Legacy Housing Corporation. Here's your your resistance line. It broke that to the upside. The cheetah is chilling on top of it. It's been just moving sideways. I would be a buyer. Uh, I think this looks good. Leonard Corp, big bullish engulfing pattern on the dailies down here. It's probably doing a retest move. Uh, it's been in an uptrend since 1975. The entire time it's been moving higher. We've got a consolidation pattern here that has just broken recently. 
That's what this consolidation period is. And we've broken to the upside. This one looks fantastic for investment. XHB, this is the uh, Spider Series Home Builder ETF. If you guys want an ETF, it's broken to the upside. We're getting a pullback here recently. Uh, I would be a buyer of this pullback. Bullish, piercing, nice, good bounce move. Could it go lower? It could go lower. It could come, it could come closer back on the return move uh, for a retest. Because this thing is basically broken out and hasn't really done a retest. Uh, if we get the retest move, I mean, it looks good. It may not come all the way back. Maybe this is all it can muster. We'll see. Uh, but this one looks like, like, it's, like it's a good investment. Uh, HOV, I've been piling into HOV, guys. Uh, I did pile some in. It's not one of my larger positions, but I am making it uh, more substantial. Uh, on a log non-logarithmic chart, this is what it looks like. We've been bouncing our head, hit it, hit it, and then it broke and absolutely busted out uh, to the upside. We hit our head, hit our head. We're hitting our head again. You zoom into this section here, it almost looks like you got a double booty bottom here, which means you got a downtrend, you got a low, you have a slingshot pattern, and then we're doing that pattern where it consolidates. This consolidation period, and then a break to the upside of this pattern means that you could have a monster squeeze on this thing uh, to the upside. But I've got some money in it. Uh, this one looks absolutely uh, worthwhile for a risk reward standpoint. Uh, this is Toll Brothers. Let me go back on logarithmic. Toll Brothers just broke out of its massive pattern here uh, to the upside. It's doing a return move. Uh, I would be a buyer up here if you want a home builder. This is the return move. This is where you buy. Uh, this is a big long-term pattern here, and I think we're going to see a big move in the home builders. Uh, so that that looks good. LGIH, uh, LGI Homes, another one. Uh, it's at the bottom of its of its uh, upward channel. I would be a buyer down here. Nice big bullish uh, engulfing piercing moving on up. Uh, I would buy this right here. It looks absolutely fantastic uh, for a long-term hold. Uh, one thing I want to talk about uh, since I'm doing this, these all look ultra bullish. We've got the housing starts going and breaking its uh, uh, its average going into an expansionary phase. We have a massive deficit in home market by about five and a half million homes, maybe even six and a half million homes, depending on what numbers you use. Uh, we need to build a bunch more new homes, a bunch more. These charts are saying that this is confluence. These charts would not align like this unless we were going into a massive bull market in homes. So not only do we have commodities that are aligning for a big bull market, we're seeing the double booty bottom. Uh, we've got rare earth metals. We've got copper doing it. We've got lithium that's, that's taken off. We've got tin. We've got silver and gold lining up for a move higher. We've got oil already in, in a move. Uh, I'll touch on fertilizer here and all these other ones. Guys, it's impossible for all these to line up the way that they've done and not have it go through. I mean, you can't have everything across the entire arena of all of these very smart investors piling all into uh, commodities and putting in patterns across the board and, and breaking these patterns all to the upside. There's no way that this is a, it cannot be a fluke in my opinion. There's no way. Um, this is this is going to be an inflationary period. You can see it in all these charts. And I'm, I'm going over all these charts. We're getting a very wide array of everything. And there's a lot of different types of investments that you could do. You could really construct a very good portfolio. And I'll try to construct a portfolio for everyone on the channel. And I'll share it with everybody of, of some of the companies that I'd be looking at. But the, a lot of these, I mean, you could cherry pick um, companies from aluminum and from the home builders and from the fertilizer companies. And if you guys need help, um, you know, sign on to my to my uh, Twitter. It's at finding underscore finance. Log in there, message me on there, and maybe we can talk if you guys need help setting up a portfolio or something. Uh, but this is, this is looking absolutely fantastic from all different angles and perspectives. So let's dive into some other ones. That's the home builders. Uh, we're going into agriculture. Uh, this is Mu. Mu is broken to the upside. Again, we've got all these massive patterns, consolidation period, breaking to the upside into a new commodity bull market. Um, 
it's been chopping sideways. Nice big bullish piercing pattern. We're moving on up. That one looks good. Uh, IPI is one of my favorite for the fertilizers. This is a double booty bottom. Double booty. Uh, we're consolidating here a little bit, and then we're going to probably get a huge break. Uh, I've been a big buyer up here in uh, IPI. I bought a little bit down here. I didn't, I didn't know that this was going to set up so nicely, uh, but I did buy a little bit here, and I've been buying up in this region up here. Uh, I've added quite a bit more on this right-hand side, looking at where this thing's about to break. Uh, I think it looks fantastic for a very large move to the upside. Uh, this thing has had a very large and, and, and long pullback. Uh, coming down through here, if you look, we've broken that, that downtrend line. Uh, so right in here, I've been buying as much as I can, loading up whatever I can in IPI because we've got the downtrend line break. We've got the double booty bottom. We've got the slingshot pattern. Usually it, it'll consolidate here for a little bit, which it has. And now it's, you know, sky's the limit, baby. This thing's ready to go. Uh, ADM, uh, this is not a fertilizer company, but an agricultural company. It's been moving higher. Uh, I bought this a while back in 2020, probably somewhere in here as it's been going up. Uh, and we've been moving on higher. I've just been holding on to it. This thing looks like a fantastic for a very large long-term uptrend move so that looks good right after this big consolidation period very this is going to have a monster move guys <laughs> uh smg scott's miracle grow i'm not as this has had a monster run guys monster monster run uh, it does look like we're consolidating here in the short term uh, it does look like we're putting in a bottom uh, so if you guys want to go into it that's up to you it does look good down here uh, that's smg uh, Nutra, nu oh, uh, Nutrien. Nutrien on a big long-term perspective, downtrend break here. Uh, it's been rolling higher. Another little break of this pattern on the upside here. Uh, looks like we're going higher. Big, uh, big bullish engulfing. Big fat uh, candlestick with a strong closing. Everything looks great. CF Industries, another uh, fertilizer company, just like Nutrien is. So this is CF. Big picture view. I'm just going to step back out and take a big picture view of it. Uh, this thing looks fantastic. Big, big downtrend line break, break into the upside. You're going to see a big move out of CF Industry Holdings. Mosaic looking absolutely beast strong. Uh, <laughs> back and out. Big megaphone pattern. The bottom of the megaphone pattern. If you could recognize this, you could have made a killing buy in this bottom. It's coming on up. It's probably heading all the way up to the top of this line up here. Uh, we could probably see a ridiculous number uh, if it goes 450, 500 even is possible. Doesn't mean it will get there, but I think it could get there. I think it will get there. Uh, I did load up in the 20 something dollar range. I was buying like heck. It was one of the cheetahs on the channel was Mosaic Company. This was our cheetah. Uh, ADM was a cheetah. Uh, Mosaic was a cheetah. Uh, a lot of the oil companies like SM Energy, CDEV, uh, the Cheetahs are out. They're running wild, guys. They're running wild. Uh, UAN, uh, this is another one that's had a massive move. Uh, we had a nice good downtrend line break here. Blew right through it like it was a hot sword cutting through uh, butter. And it's just been moving higher. Would I buy it up here? I don't know. I'd probably buy IPI over it. But uh, that's doing well. Uh, I've got emerging markets in here. I don't know why it's... Oh, I've got, I just threw it in here. This is doing a retest. I would be a buyer of emerging markets in this area down here. That looks good. Uh, I bought this one. I didn't know that it was going to do this. <laughs> uh, kind of lucky. I saw this. This is an Altius Renewable Royalties Corporation. I said, well, if if energy is going to get expensive, I could get re if if there was a royalty on renewables where it didn't have input costs, that this would be a good play, a raw play on electricity uh, so i bought this one down here on this kind of pullback retest move uh i bought it all kind of in this area here and then it just went rocketing higher at right after i bought it i i don't know this does look like it wants to pull back nice big wicks at the top it, it's probably going to pull back and i'll buy more on a pullback but i won't buy it up here atusf this was altius uh one that i said hey look guys this thing's breaking we're probably going to see a break to the upside we bought it I bought it in here. It has potash um, 
royalties, a bunch of metal, different type of metal royalties. You should probably take a look at it. Altius Minerals Corporation looks really good for a move higher. Uh, I kind of wanted it for the fertilizer royalties. Uh, and we've been moving on higher here. So this thing looks fantastic uh, for a move higher. Looking at some of the tanker stocks, this is International Seaways. This guy is breaking to the upside here uh, on this downtrend line. So this looks like it's going to. Looks like it wants to go higher. Uh, STNG, which is Scorpio Tankers. Another one that looks like it wants to break its downtrend line. It wants to go higher. You can see a low here and a higher low. Uh, this, this is probably a good one if you guys want to look into it. Uh, TK Corporation. Uh, if you notice, we've got a nice big bullish engulfing on the monthlies. This is way down there. Uh, it's probably going to head higher. Uh, that's the big bullish engulfing here. It's still within the pattern. Uh, it hasn't broken out yet, but uh, I can tell you it is it is sure uh, cheap looking at this from a big long-term perspective. Look at this is a huge consolidation pattern that broke to the downside. Wow. Broken to the downside and we're consolidating in. Hopefully we can get a break to the upside here. Uh, ASC, uh, Ardmore Shipping Corporation. Big bullish uh, pattern here, breaking the pattern to the upside. Uh, looking at the daily candlesticks for Ardmore. Uh, it's broken to the upside here on the dailies. This guy's probably going to do a return move. I would be a buyer down here. NAT breaking to the upside the past two days. Backing on out. We've got kind of this pattern here that we got a breakthrough we've broken to the downside we'll see if this thing launches higher a uh, front line fro it's trying to break its pattern uh it's coming on up there it is higher lows that's what this signifies and we are coming up and trying to break to the upside here we've had a nice big move we'll see if we can break ewz which is a uh brazil etf this thing looks fantastic for a move higher I would be a buyer of it. RSX, uh, this is Russia. Do you want to mess with Russia? Uh, you know what? Maybe way down here, this could be an end of trend, blow off move right back to support. Uh, if you guys have the cojones, what would I do here? Hold on, let me let me move this here. Uh, I would, you know what, guys? I'd probably buy it. This is this looks like to me like an end of trend. Uh, type movement like a blow off type movement um if you guys have the cojones i mean this is the time to buy it and uh and hold on if you guys want to hopefully hopefully the sink the, you know the sanctions and all that stuff doesn't hurt you uh, but for a compelling entry point i mean maybe it'll work out for you if you position size it correctly maybe it'll work out inda which is iShares india uh india is another one that's got this massive megaphone type pattern going on. Maybe we can break this megaphone pattern to the upside and have a massive bull market in India. It, it's very possible. Uh, INDX, that's industrial. And then I've got Baba here. It's been <laughs> moving to the downside. Um, and then the, the aluminum ones. I know this is getting kind of long, guys. Uh, McCoy Global. Oh, McCoy Global was, a, I think this is an energy service company. This thing looks fantastic. That'd be a good one to buy. McCoy Global MCCRF. Uh, this one's aluminum futures. Aluminum's been just rocketing higher. Uh, notice you got the double booty bottom, the slingshot. We all know what this is on the channel. Uh, we've got Constellium. This guy looks absolutely fantastic for a move higher. Uh, it's right at the top of its of its uh, pattern. Uh, our Conic Corporation. It's Got a nice solid resistance line that it's trying to break here recently. Uh, this is one that I said if you want an aluminum company, Century Aluminum is the one I'd be buying. Uh, we've got a nice big break, 11.12% up uh, last trading set, or no, uh, last month. Last trading session was up, oh yeah, 11.12% last trading session. It's broken to the upside. It is breaking out. Uh, looks fantastic. That's the one I would buy. Uh, ACH is another one I would buy right now. It's breaking its long-term pattern to the upside. This thing's going to have a monster move. Uh, if we were to do a FIB uh, trend-based extension on this, 
all the way to the top, all the way back. Um, 1.618 gets you to $150. This would be a big move uh, if this thing plays out the way that this is. I, I would be a buyer in ACH as well. Uh, this is another one I would be buying, Vedanta. Uh, Vedanta Corporation looks massive. It's got a huge consolidation pattern that's breaking to the upside. Uh, I would be a buyer right now in it. Uh, Kaiser Aluminum Corporation. This guy's got kind of an upward slanting uh, type consolidation move. Kind of broke out. It's kind of moving all over the place here, but it'll eventually, I think, break to the upside. Uh, Alcoa, it, absolute domination here. Uh, break to the upside. Too bad we couldn't have bought this down at the bottom here. This would have been a huge pickup at $5 all the way up to $77. Bucks. Uh, oh, well over a 10 bagger. Massive, weird looking pattern here that's just ripping it to the upside. Uh, so that's what I've got for today on, on this, guys. The All these sectors look absolutely insanely good. Uh, I would be a buyer and probably a little bit of each. Um, they look so good. I, I, there's so many opportunities here, guys. There are so many opportunities. It is dumbfounding. And they all scream that a commodity bull market is coming in a weaker dollar, too. It's, it's This is signaling a weaker dollar and commodity bull market in all these different sectors. Um, I wish I had a ton more money so I could invest in all these. <laughs> I, I really wish. Um, I'm playing it mainly with the energy sector. Uh, big energy bull. If we have problems in energy... I don't know if, if some of these companies are going to do as well on the back half of the commodity bull market if you're a mining company, because that's energy is an input. So I'm, I'm big on the energy. Uh, I'm big on um, physical precious metals. I think and physical metals in general, they're going to do incredibly well. I think everything that's just physical uh, things that you can buy, I think will do very well. I don't think the cryptos will stand up as well. We'll see. Uh, they they have energy as an input and they are non uh, tangible. They're intangible assets. So I I'm kind of indifferent. Uh, I, I don't know. I don't like that sector. I I think anything that's physical that takes energy to either build or take out of the ground is going to be quite valuable. That's what I think. If you guys like the content, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Uh, if you guys want to donate to the channel, that's up to you. There's a link below in the description link. You also have. Um, it's, there's a link on my main page as well that says donations. If you want to donate, that's up to you. Uh, but thanks for listening, guys. This is Finding Value.